Hi, and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how to investigate the factors affecting the resistance of electrical circuits. Now, I should point out that this is a required practical. At least 15% of the marks in your exam will come from questions relating to required practicals, so it's really important that you learn these. OK, so in this practical, we're looking at the factors affecting the resistance of a circuit, and we're going to focus on the length of a wire. So here's the equipment that we're going to use. We've got a battery, an ammeter, a voltmeter, and a length of wire. We'll be using the ammeter to measure the current in the circuit, and the voltmeter to measure the potential difference across the wire. We'll use these values to calculate the resistance in the circuit, and to do that, we'll use this equation that we've already seen. The resistance in ohms equals the potential difference in volts divided by the current in amperes. So we're going to see how the resistance depends on the length of the wire. Now, that means that we need a way to increase the length of the wire, so here's how we do it. We've attached a wire to a meter ruler using tape. I'm now going to connect the wire into the rest of the circuit using two crocodile clips like this. What this means is that only the part of the wire which is between the two crocodile clips is actually connected to the circuit. Now I can move the crocodile clips further apart to increase the length of the wire in the circuit like this. So now I can change the length of the wire and measure the resistance in the circuit. When I do this experiment, I get a graph like this. We get a straight line which passes through zero. That tells us that the resistance of the wire is directly proportional to the length. Now there are some really important issues about this practical and you could be asked about these in your exam, so they're worth learning. If we look again at the graph, we can see that there is actually a small resistance when the length of the wire is zero. Now that resistance should not be there. That's not an actual result. That's a problem with the method and we call it zero error. So let's look at that now. A zero error is a reading on a measuring instrument when the value should be zero. That's a systematic error. We cannot reduce it by carrying out repeats. In the case of resistance, we need to subtract the zero error from all of our readings. Now this zero error is caused by the equipment. If we take a closer look at the crocodile clips, we can see that it's extremely difficult to get the crocodile clip at the zero position on the ruler. Secondly, there's also some resistance caused by the contact between the crocodile clip and the wire, and there's nothing we can do about that. Again, this causes zero error. The second issue is with heating effects. If the temperature of the wire increases, then the resistance will also increase, and that will affect our results. Now, there are a couple of things we can do to reduce this. Firstly, we should use a low potential difference. This will keep the current low, reducing any heating in the wire. Secondly, we should only turn on the current when we're taking a reading. We should turn off the current between readings, and again, that will reduce heating effects. So as we've seen, we can increase the resistance in a circuit by using a longer wire, and that's really useful. We find this idea in a variable resistor, which I'm showing you here. A variable resistor contains a long piece of wire in a coil. Using the slider, we can change the length of the wire that the current runs through. So in this circuit, we're using a variable resistor to control the potential difference across the lamp. By increasing the resistance, we can make the lamp dimmer. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on this and all the other required practicals in my vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how to investigate the factors affecting the resistance of electrical circuits.